Okay, so this week we're going to do lab six, Newton's laws of motion. We're going to verify Newton's second law and the third law uh, in the lab. We want to investigate the relationship between force mass and, and the acceleration. So the uh, um, the diagram, so the uh, uh, the structure is like this. So experimental experimental design is like this. You have dynamic track. You have the other uh, force sensor, you have the dynamics core, and you have this, what we call the rotary motion sensor. So we're going to tie the string to the hook of the other uh, force sensor. And, and on the end of the other string, uh, we're going to put mass on the, uh, on the mass holder. So this whole thing is going to provide tension in the string, and that is considered as external force. And that force, uh, which is F, and then we have the, um, and it's going, to make, uh, it's going to be measured by the force sensor. And the uh, F equals MA, so M is the mass of the force sensor and the dynamics call. So you can see that F equals MA, your mass does not change. However, uh, the, uh, the force, which is uh, tension in the string, is going to change. And in response to the changing uh, tension, the, um, uh, the acceleration will change as well. So we're going to add 10 grams in, uh, in 10 grams increments on, uh, on the end of the mass holder. And it's going to, uh, the system is going to measure the, uh, the force and it's going to measure acceleration. And, and you're going to have 10 data points and those 10 data points will be, uh, will be able, you'll be able to use them to find the, uh, the mass of the system, which is the, uh, the combined mass of the force sensor and the dynamics core. So when you do this experiment, uh, uh, several things to pay attention to. One is that the track has to be uh, uh, leveled and, uh, and the string has to be uh, level uh, to the tabletop as well. So you can adjust the height of the rotor motion sensor so that the string is parallel to the tabletop. And the other thing is that when you measure the, uh, the, uh, when you measure the force in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the string, you need to zero the sensor. And so how do we zero the sensor? Basically, you would have one hand holding the, the string so that the string does not uh, exert any forces on the hook of the, uh, of the force sensor. And use another another hand to press the button, which we call that tear button to zero the sensor. So once you, uh, once you do that, then the, uh, the force sensor is what we call calibrated. And the, uh, the force that you measure subsequently uh, will have the accurate value of the, uh, of the force uh, in, the, in the string. So that's your, uh, the first part. And, this, the, and the second part is about the uh, Newton third law. So you would have two force sensor. Again, track has to be leveled and the string has to be leveled. You want to have, uh, you know, talk, uh, you're going to exert forces on, uh, on the force sensor on the left hand, on the left hand side. And the assistant to, is going to respond in equal, uh, uh, in equal magnitude but opposite directions. Uh, you know, by the virtue of, by the virtue of the uh, Newton's third law, so that uh, you know F one two is equal to F two one, and so they will have uh, that. Uh, so the 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 force on the right hand side should create equal amount of force, but in the opposite direction. So the whole thing is balanced. So this is uh, the uh, Newton's third law. So you would so let's look at the table. So you have something like this. So this will be provided. And as I mentioned, the force here is the uh, is uh, as a result of the uh, the loading mass on the uh, the mass holder to create the tension, and uh, and this is Newton's third law F one two and F two one values will be provided, and the combined mass will be uh, will be uh, you know uh, provided as well. So for the uh, for the second law, the slow will be uh, experimental value of the combined mass, and you're going to compare to the actual value in order to get the percent error. And for the third law, uh, the third law, uh, you know, the uh, theoretical value should be one, and you're going to compare to your slope in order to get your percent error. Okay. So let me bring up the uh, the data table. So this is the table for the second law, you will have this, and for the third law, you will have this, and uh, the combined mass, which is 0 0.8259, which is in kilogram, and the slow when you plot it will be in kilogram as well, so you can uh, do the percent error. So that's basically what you want to do. So for this experiment, very easy, keeping the data to Excel, create two plots, one for uh, the second law and one for the third law, and then uh, do the comparison, okay? So that's basically uh, what you uh, will be doing for uh, lab six. And data can be found in uh, lab, uh, data can be found 
data can be found. Uh, let me see, where is my um, data can be found in the lab module. So uh, data will be in here, okay? So you need, that's a, in the Word document. You need to upload to Excel. Uh, you need to keep the data to Excel, and the instruction will be uploaded to the uh, to this uh, this folder. Alrighty.